Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. I'm Bugtor the Bard. I'm Greg. <laughs> Isaac. <laughs> All right. And we are just wandering <clears throat> around town looking at stuff. You know, Yay! as a demon murderer. Greg's my and, and I mean, and Thank I mean, you very much. Isaac Greg Lore. Yep. <laughs> I have seven names. Isaac, I plan to unveil them all over the course of this playthrough. <laughs> Isaac Gregor. Anyway. Um, yeah, no, I like the fact that we're wandering around town as a demon murderer. And I mean that both as a demon that murders people and an actual murderer of demons. Yep. Uh, and no one seems to be batting an eye at us. Also, no one seems to be worried about the fact that we're going to die of hypothermia at any moment in the <laughs> snow town. <laughs> With our rag and belt combo. Oh yeah, no, it's great. Well, there are a couple people that <clears throat> comment on it. And I mean, like, Magalu's wearing like a unitard. Uh, she's she's got a shirt and some underoos and then thigh highs with garter belts. So so her frostbite's gonna come in fun, interesting patterns. Oh then. yeah, yeah yeah. I mean, there's also the part where we fight inside a literal there's volcano. Yeah. Uh, I also noticed that you're, like, oh, hey, that pulling plants out of people's it. window box gardens, <laughs> and oh, no yeah. one seems to mind the fact that you're just like, Oh, this looks useful as you rip out a bunch of posies or something. I've been growing playing Zelda? I... <laughs> well, yeah. I mean... Schrodinger's cats. We got glasses. You know, it kind of works. Oh no! No, not oh. that! <laughs> no. Who does that? Yes. No. Atrocious. Ugh. I like it. How do we? Oh, okay, there it is. The glasses don't look accurate. You want to make her look as different as... No! There's things! Mm -hmm. Gotta go to the star. Useless. Oh, God. Star. Yeah, the I first think. thing is talking with the guild. Everything else is useless. I gotta go check out a ladder situation. I did, but there's another ladder. Like, I gotta explore, right? And there the game won't let me. I was gonna say, I think that is actually the problem, is we have been playing Zelda. And so then, <laughs> and so then we see all these things, it's like, you can just climb up anything wherever you want, right? Like, no. <laughs> yeah, no, there's stuff down there. I knew it. Alright. And... Amber, Amber Garmin. Garmin. Try to picture how that would look. Exactly the same. Because reasons. Well, you know. Gotta is keep, it Amber just. Gotta keep her own the brand. Quality of it? Yep. Oh, is it? Oh, that's a yeah. quality statement? Oh. Yeah. Weird. It goes up. Is it like a Moe's hardness scale thing? Are we gonna have, like, successively harder materials that. Yeah, like the next is, what, quartz? Uh -huh. Calcite? Mm -hmm. Actually, that makes sense because quartz is harder than calcite. Alright. I so... remember leather and iron and steel and <laughs> Electrum. Electrum. <sighs> or a chalcum. Is this uh... the shipping guild? Damn that dial! And a man What do you think he's doing by trying to resist? We wouldn't I had just asked you a question, Jesus! <laughs> Calm down! Sorry, but we can't help. What makes you say that? Guild business is currently suspended. Honestly, oh yeah, well I'll out nerd you. Oh, hello. Lady Teresa. Number two, did I give you permission to speak? Man, no wonder you don't get anything done. <laughs> Lady Teresa, how long must this punishment of ours last? You know it was all Dial's fault, don't you, my lady? 
We threw someone under the bus, what more do you want? I was the one smuggling flamestone, but your guild, through its negligence, shares responsibility. This rule was set down by the Abbey to maintain order. When person poops their pants, everyone wears diapers. Group punishment is always effective. It doesn't build resentment at all. Interrogate and sentence die. When this has been accomplished, you will be free to continue business. All right, so now we're now look we're at this little hair wiggle. Bounty hunting dial. Someone sure. had to animate them. You look conspicuously dressed, stranger. I was gonna say y'all dressed are like serious you protagonists. Hair? Aren't you cold dressed like that? I've just Everything about me is cold. I wasn't aware Northgown was so cold. Ooh, decent why. A young woman ought That was a super son. obvious sneeze. Achoo. Thank you for your concern. Achoo, achoo, like the humans do. I don't know if you should really keep warm. No, no commentary on Magui's <laughs> costume. I guess she has a feather boa oh, to keep warm. So this is how the Abbey flexes its muscle, hmm? Cruel, cruel world these days. I see how. Yeah, they just seem like bear crowds to me. If I catch this style person, yeah, you can repair my ship, right? Sure, but I warn you. So he's a demon. They're a shipping he guild. After a that means they deal with like the shipping of stuff. Him. Yeah, they're not a ship rights guild. Correct. Which is who would actually be in charge he's of fixing, say, a boat? Yeah. If you're doing this, I'd imagine that's a good place to start. She doesn't understand how words work. He's a brute with the head of a lizard. I'd you guys are gonna have to let that go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's a wordplay thing that we're missing. Open. Or they don't know. What they that use is. The, they use the same character for ship or something. Maybe it's maybe it's really clever. Uh. I mean, I don't see a sign anywhere, but maybe their shop shingle says, you know, like, boat in guild. Oh. Well, at least I can make my way past. Treasure box. Uh, expository dialogue, no quests. There's a quest guy. You're probably buying. I hope you're buying a sword. <laughs> hmm. I well, hope beyond hope really that you were buying a sword. The blade was badly rusted, but once I polished it up, it turned out to have a fine edge. I can scarcely believe something of that quality was languishing in my bargain bin. You've taught me quite a lesson. The weapon yeah, is yours was... as payment. My thanks. You you bought the most <laughs> dumpster bargain bin sword you could. Then he gave it to you. So we're hunting because a it turned out to be good. Dial, are we? we'll Isn't that? His hometown first. We're hunting a uh, he, he taught along. him how to like dress swords and hone their edge. Or maybe trailer. just keep better track of the quality of your wares. I'm not so sure I mean, you probably get rusty snap. battlefield swords by the box. <laughs> <laughs> I think There's you're saying dragon, several werewolves. <laughs> She's not gonna eat regular people. <laughs> They're not worth their time. So what I want to know is, is if you can still buy him a better sword. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like there's a sword for him in there yet. Maybe when he joins the party. Maybe. Well, because he just said he bought a sword. I just think it would be funny if there's a better sword sitting right there that he could have bought instead. I'm almost entirely sure he just did. No, I bought me a better sword. What? You do have a second character profile on the top right, though. Do I? Did you master the first sword? I don't know. Let's check. Yes, yes. yes you did. I think it started that way. Once you master, see, each weapon gives you a skill. And once you master the weapon, you keep the skill permanently. Foreign daggers. And a foreign talisman. He's a foreigner. It's important for you to know that. Because... Everything has a somewhat European vibe as far as their aesthetic. 
and then you have a character who's clearly from one of the expansion books in the RPG. Everyone's from an expansion <laughs> book. <laughs> oh, guys, I've got this great medieval setting. Great, I'm using something from, like, this demon appendix handbook. <sighs> okay, I'll start reading it. How about you? Oh, I'm using the Demon Handbook too, but I also picked Oriental Adventures from from the D and D, you know, two editions ago. You can make that work, right? Ugh, fine, we'll workshop it later. How about you? Oh, I'm using this weird spellcaster variant that no one's ever heard of that I found on a forum. Ugh, send me a link. Arturius is just a very, very tired DM. <laughs> don't have to worry about getting attacked by de this And you've described, <laughs> like, every D&D &D game I've ever run. Jesus, cool as I, our town is a I've been there for a couple of those, actually. Your world of darkness game. Claire, oh, where it was the literal unabridged yeah, world of yeah. darkness, where everyone picked a different book to be from? Yep. No. Yeah. I was clearly stating I was gonna run a mage to the section game. Well, so did anyone actually play a mage? Felix. Felix ah. did. So, when... He this was first. This game was first proposed to me. Uh, we were kind of trying to figure out what I'd like to be, and he goes, "Oh, oh, you could be a demon. We don't have a demon yet." Well, I think by that point he'd already committed <laughs> to the idea that, well, I'm gonna have to read all the books. I might as well read all the books. So I went to Felix, or Felix came to me and was like, "You bought all the the W20 but or the 20th anniversary books, right?" And I was like, "Yeah." He's like, you should use that $600 investment and run a mage game. Okay. Duncan, you want to play? I'll play vampire. Right. How about you, Raven? I'll play werewolf. Cool. I did say Mage of the Ascension, right? I'm not just going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so by the time we got the bunny, I was just like, play whatever you want. Except that what you want to play is a demon, because that's what I want you to play. Because <laughs> it was the only of the core five that wasn't picked on a whim. I, I will really enjoy Demon, though, so it's I will. Great. I will say, when I heard about this, I tried to uh, convince you to let me join as either a mummy or Promethean. I totally said you could join as a mummy, <laughs> on the condition that you read the book. <laughs> so, there we go. Uh, on the have, condition that you read the book. I would have to get a copy of the mummy book. I would refuse. Killing him would be a... The third edition mummy book was the dumbest thing I've ever read the first six pages of. And I was going to totally play it like the old cartoon Mummies Alive. As, oh, wait, as much oh, as I could. No, no, no. Sorry. I read um, Orpheus. Orpheus was the dumbest thing I've read the first six pages of. Correct. Has anyone ever seen uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, The Dream Warriors? Yeah. Yes. That's Orpheus. Oh. Are you a dream warrior? No. Yep. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> Although, I... it kind of sounds like being the, uh, the Decker in a Shadowrun game. There's this whole other game that you get to play that the rest of the party can't come on. Well, Halavis is a cold snow. That, is that does create some party cohesion yeah, issues when you have a different cold. game you're playing. Well, don't look at. I had a my first Shadowrun guy. The uh, the hacker didn't even show up on the session that we played because he was roommates with the hacker, so he just did all the hacking throughout the week, and then we showed up and shot things. See, that makes sense. I actually thought it'd be fun to run two Shadowrun games. Uh, run one where you have a party of, like, like you have a hacking collective, where everyone agrees we're going to be a bunch of Deckers doing a Decker thing. And then uh, have their games affect, like, your boots-on-the-ground actual Shadowrun team. Uh, but that's a huge amount of coordination that I just hey, don't think I'm capable of. If you ever decide to run that game, I'll play. I'll play on both sides. <laughs> Why can't I leave out the front door? Because because you're, you're not a, allowed. Because you're a demon murderer. This is so? a JRPG. So this guy would... doesn't care. Hi. Dude, everything. Look at that neutral expression. I think he's already <laughs> lost his emotions. Possible. That little. That little, like, bland emoji above his head. Oh, boy. So, do these exclamation mark dialogues actually matter? Yes. I assume, okay. I so assume they're the plot go buttons. To the menu. What a beautiful... Isn't she? Have you heard of... Thanks to their... Why are we going to the menu? Dangerous. 
Because we need to you off. Well, I mean, that should probably happen off microphone if you really want to. Go to arts. Press R1. Is your controller on? Is now. Okay. Press R2? Yeah, you're on there. Press R1? Who, me? You gotta, you gotta give out names rather than just commands. Mysterious. There you go. Now press options. You gotta, you gotta turn you both to manual. You're still on semi auto. Ah, fine. Well, I only want, I only want everyone to be able to play the game. I How mean, dare I? I mean, you could have just told me I was playing the game, and I would be like, man, I'm doing so good. <laughs> you would be the AI, so you would be doing. Yeah. I'm doing so good. <laughs> even, even you. I'll be able to outpace this AI. Good just, to know. Just by being able to read the battlefield and go, I should probably heal the main character before she gets bludgeoned to. Oh. But the invisible wall prevents me from moving on here. We've already <laughs> established that. Well, maybe the invisible wall is gone. You ever think about that? So, do these cancels you use power, you used power regenerating like everything else? Yep. Oh. You used powerful dialogue magic to break the barrier. <laughs> Bird noise. This is this is why Velvet hates people. It's because she has to talk to them to advance the plot. But ice and snow as far as the eye can see. Are you cold? So if you guys are both I'm demons, fine, how come you're not like werewolves midriff. and stuff? Doesn't bother me either. Because we're special protagonist demons. Hey there, sorry. It's a special category of demon that hasn't been seen in an age, but was foretold of in prophecy. Wait. Or something. Or something. I've lost a lot of my human feelings. I think they were powerful enough to keep a, a I didn't know that. Their consciousness. Down, so oh, it's like it's like Necrons. If you're power if you have a powerful enough personality, you get to keep it. Yep. Neat. Oh, by the way, that's my least favorite version of the Necrons. Oh, do you like the perversion? Do you like the perversion? Yeah, that's probably right. Do you like? Uh, the, you're not wrong. Yeah. Do you like the version where they're space tomb kings? Yes. And actually, they're desperately searching to get their meat bodies. The back? robot zombie army should act like robot zombies. They did act like robot zombies, and now they're space now tomb they're kings. Now they're lucky space protagonists, and it doesn't. They don't wear that hat well. Nope. <laughs> what was that about me being better than the AI? I literally didn't realize we were playing the game. I was like. There's gonna be like five more cutscenes. I'm probably just gonna chill here. Matter what change targets. Oh, one. Thank you. Hold Tutorial the musical. <laughs> if you hold our one, it'll open up the menu and then you press oh, left and right. Yeah. Just wait until I pull out the good That's good. Stuff. Jazz hit. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. See, he's like, we're not trying too hard right now. What's that? I should use the big sword on my back? It's a minor quibble. Don't worry about it. You it's... guys are going to feel real <laughs> dumb when you figure out why you won't use that sword. Just say Just go cool on that one. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to say I won't feel any dumber than I normally do. God so goes the demon bird. Are we good to go, my go crew? Oh! <laughs> I see a village. Let's go after him. I'll end it quickly. Oh. That wasn't mine. Bugs! That masterful work of criticism for Moscow X. He's pretty good like that. Yeah! Nothing. Nothing. That's probably a whole lot of tutorial stuff. Wait a minute. That wasn't the right one. <laughs> that wasn't the right one at all! <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? 
What am I doing? This is something that usually gets asked when I'm in control. <laughs> what is the meaning of life? I gotta fall down this one. Oh. Gotta get those cat souls. Only there was a jump button. <laughs> I'll end it quickly. If only. Well, I mean, I know that you can do a big jump because I've seen it in cutscenes. You can, you can do anything. You must be semi cold capital D, right? Oh man. <laughs> Oh no! X capital D. Come on, really? I'm sorry. <laughs> capital C <laughs> underscore capital. Uh, I like that we've apparently activated text to talk. <laughs> this, is, this is good. It talks to text. It talks to text. Run away! Run away! Run away. Oh, capital X, Lord Case P. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh no! Oh. That scared me. Oh, cats. Wait a With a Z? And a K? No, no like going? the regular kind. The There's here. literally a glowing star on the map. I know, there's an exclamation point over here. I see. Thank you. I thought we weren't dropping yeah. into the past as much now that the game started proper. You know, I never bothered to go look at that random rock, so... Oh, have you not seen this cutscene? Did we find something new? Oh, we're gonna find a lot of new things because he didn't do a lot of cutscenes. He's kind of like, plot, 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 plot! This, this too, this too is plot. Well, I had to beat the game because, uh... What was coming out that I needed to beat? Oh, Andromeda came out! I was gonna say Andromeda or Persona 5. So I was ru actually, I was rushing through this game so that I could play Andromeda when Andromeda came out. And I only got like 60% of the way through the game. So then I rushed through for Andromeda, went back to Tales of Asteria, beat it just before Persona 5 dropped. Very nice. I'm, I'm glad that you get through these games without getting any on you. <laughs> oh, I got some of this game on me. <laughs> oh. I'm knee deep in this area. It's almost the anniversary of her death. I better go to the cave. Andromeda, however, I picked up nobody's dry clean. <laughs> One of my planets was still at zero percent when I beat the game. Sorry. Wow. Ah, uh, it's a sad memory. Flowers have different meanings. Betrayal. I don't think I she has any happy memories at this point. I think that's part of becoming a demon. Life's pain. Like... I'm more than just Batman. If you, become, if you become a demon, I think it's because you focused on all the bad stuff just a little or too Or... Appropriately dressed crow. Was this the... Uh, she is the crow. You know, we what? haven't made a crow yet. Joke so far. It's Until true. Now. We should probably check the tapes. I'm pretty sure I made one on episode two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm lazy, so I'm not gonna. Yeah. Are we allowed to be self deprecating? Is that a rule? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a rule, but maybe a rough guideline. All 29 of them. An exorcist. Yep. Was that dial she slew? No. It wasn't a lizard demon. Just throw the rule book out. It's just, just more like guidelines, anyways. Just... Everything that's report. going on. Demons okay. run rampant in the Outlands, and yet the Abbey has explicitly. I think she's crying because of how numb and cold she must be. It's true we have. I mean, she's got more clothes on than Maggie Lou. She does. And velvet. She combined. does, but she doesn't have the excuse of being a demon or crazy. <laughs> Maggie Lou's not crazy. She's a little eccentric. All I'm saying is like. Pants? Why make Maybe? excuses to me? Leggings? Making... My name is Eleanor Hume. 
I am it's kind of like a Colleen. Under business here. We heard there was a patrolling in this town who fled from the slum trunks, maybe. Where did you hear that yeah. from me? I've been looking into it, but I haven't found any clues yet. Oh, right, we're hunting a different demon. Worry yeah. not. We will track down that foul demon and put it to the sword. Yeah. That's a thing we can totally do. Well, okay, future party member. You have fun. We'll rescue you later, and then you'll be indebted to us. Oh, that is yeah, way less go. cool than how it actually goes down. Oh, good. I didn't want us to get eaten. Eaten? I mean, I don't know anything about a demon. <laughs> it's fine, you can tell me. I'll keep it a secret, I promise. There's a lizard demon in a cave to the north. Lizard demon's a goodie. I'd village up if I told anyone. I'll give you these. Don't tell anybody, all right? Uh, got it. Thanks, kid. Apples. I'm not gonna tell anybody, but I'm totally gonna eat that lizard demon. <laughs> then I'm gonna eat this apple. Cave to the north. Hmm. Gotta say. Folks here really don't trust the exorcists, do they? This is a good town. <laughs> huh. This is actually rather good. I forgot what it was like to eat food with my mouth. Like the people do. Well, because demons don't need to eat, so... Can't do exactly. Thing. Okay. Oh, you lost your sense of taste when you became a demon. That sucks. Well, I mean, look at what she's wearing. I learned what you need. It's pretty good. Very well done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That dude is trying to set that capsule on fire. <laughs> you have to save him. It's true. While they digest it. Their burps same as cats. Hero squad. Mm -hmm. How? Protagonist. <laughs> Anti heroes ahoy. <laughs> Protagonist is correct. Yeah. It is their story that we're following. That doesn't make any judgment as to whether they're right or the good. The protagonist is not always a good person. They're just the person we're following. Uh, yeah. That's whose story we're piggybacking on. That. What? Yeah! Saving them cats. Did you just pull the... I told you that? Didn't... Meow. That woman I pulled nothing. She was patrol They're hand-picked agents who, I suppose you could like them. We didn't get anything. Well, since the Abbey imposed well yeah, it's every other box. Uh, every other box? Maybe really? That's why, our why don't they just exorcism? have the number right. of boxes and have oh, them cost not... 30, then? Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> man, you don't even know. <laughs> they get up, they get upwards of, like, costing 500 later. Uh, oh, wow. So what I'm hearing is, is those litter cats are probably going to stay in those boxes. I mean, I didn't keep up with it, but you could probably, like, if you found... The number of cat souls sh that show up increase, too. Mm -hmm. And you'll... There are places where you can get two, three hundred a run. Mm -hmm. If you're, uh... Tomorrow's yeah, I'm just willing to run that run. I thought he was being a crazy demon again, but... I mean, I was because I didn't give crap. <laughs> I just bought actual costumes. So they were pretty costumes. A jacketless outfit. Oh no. Staying it in gives you things. I have to go back and stay at that first inn. Wait, what? Staying it in gets you things. Oh. oh. Well, this one did, and the other Take one the had an exclamation off. mark, too. What are you wearing? Oh! Oh, good. Whoa! I like the jacketless outfit, but the hat is unnecessary. Yeah, no, it ain't. The hat is delightful. Why are you ruining him? No! He's so attractive <clears throat> without the hat. Yeah, you gotta cover up the whole uh, bad guy lady from Captain Planet thing. <laughs> Good one. Nice. 
Reference. Youngins. And I take it. Watch Captain Planet. Exactly. Rebuttal. I have never felt so old. Pun. Witticism. Cut off any egg, I suppose so. Reminder of time. Bon mod. Is this is this how you guys feel all the time? Feeling old like this? <laughs> hey, you can jump on your high horse, but you got that reference. And on that moment of existential crisis, I think we are going to end for today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like listening to us contemplate our own mortality.